Hi guys, and uh, welcome back to another uh, video presentation. Now, this one's a follow-on from the keypad video I did for the Home Center 3. So, as promised, I'm going to be showing you um, how this works in a Home Center 2, as quite a few people still have a Home Center 2. So, I'm not going to go through with the, the actual device itself. Um, you can just look at the Home Center 3 video for that. Uh, so, we're talking about the uh, PSK01. So, basically, this smart touch keypad. Um, so, that's the one we're going to be going today for the Home Center 2. So, how do we do this? So, back onto Home Center, we're going to click on Add or Remove Devices, uh, Network Mode and then security mode. Click on add. Then on the unit itself, we need to go into the programming. So that's zero, 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 enter, one, zero, enter. And that puts the unit into learning mode. You'll see some green lights flashing on it. Now, these are all in the book. So the four zero is the original programming code and then one zero is the command to put it into learning mode. So now I'm just going to wait for this to complete. So I'll just pause the video. So as you can see, it's now added. So if I go back on to devices and here it is, ID 69. So this is my uh, keypad. Now, just like before, when uh, when I'm using it, it goes into what we call the button control mode where I can send a, a command such as one, two, three, four, five, and it will actually just send out buttons. So it's that using it as a remote control or one of those key fob type devices. However, we want to use this as a security device. So what we need to do, we do need to update the parameters again. So we click on advance and let's go to add parameter so we're going to add on parameter number one with a value of one and that's it and then hit uh, sorry yeah, then we're going to hit save now you heard the double beep that means it's recognized it and then we just refresh the page and it will confirm that parameter one is indeed set to make sure that's correct when we turn press the enter key or the unlock key, the keypad displays green instead of blue. That confirms now we're in scene control mode. Okay, now let's uh, start the synchronization process. Which it's doing, done. Now what we're gonna do, we can now start adding up hints. So I will call this 1111 and I'm going to call this as, say, well, let's call it user1. And then I'm going to save that. And synchronize. Just to make sure. Now that's going to add in a second user. So we're going to say 2222 two, 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 and user2. Two. Let's click on add three beeps and it's all synchronized and then we're just going to hit save right all done all saved now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the scenes so let's click on scenes so click on the scene now I've already written the scene so let me just click on it so Make sure it's automatic, etc. Uh, name the scene. Uh, what you need to do is this is going to be exactly the same as before. This will be available to download for a nominal fee of five pounds from my website, and um, I'll just show you what changes that need to be made. So, first things first is um, don't forget to change the ID in the trigger section at the top. So in my case, my ID was 70. So I put 70 and then the command. 
You also then need to put 70 here as well. Local ID equals 70 there. And what I'm gonna do is just comment out that line. Hit save. So once you've inputted your ID there and here, the rest where it says um, user one. Now, this has to equal, this has to equal what you've written for the device. So let me open the link in new tab, click on here. Now on here, you can see my labels are user one and user two that I've already done two of. Okay, so I have to make sure that this says user one, this says user two. That's where I got my debug here, user one and user two. Okay, so the debug command is you will replace with whatever command you want it to do. Turn the lights on, turn the lights off, turn the alarm on, turn the alarm off, run a scene, don't run a scene, etc., etc. But the trigger, this has to match for ID person number one, for person number two, and so forth. Okay, so this label has to match these entries here. And that's it. Now, and I'll just look at the debug window at the bottom. So, wake up my keypad, put my code in, and then here, user one. So now, just wait for it to turn green. There we are, user two. Input it twice. It's come through twice, and there's our trigger. Um, and there you have it. So um, a quick, just a quick one on uh, on how this works, and um, straightforward to use. So as before, yorkshireautomation.uk, the shop section, and there you can download the this file for the home center too for just five pound. Right, um, short and sweet, and that's it for now. So until we meet on the next one, see you around.